everyone welcome to show officers classes hope you all are doing fine and your exam preparation is going well so in amidst of the preparation you might be preparing for premier institutes exams like institute statistical institute exam or the chennai mathematical institute exam so today i am here with you to explain a very important piece of information that is the isi preparation strategy question paper pattern and syllabus so in this video you what you will get is what are the books you need to follow what is the syllabus paper pattern tips conclusion So, doing a very methodical approach in the video. So, first, I like to explain you about the books, about the syllabus, about the paper pattern, the tips, and the end. We will conclude the statement with the ending of the video. So, so if you can't see the topic, I'm just moving out from the board. So I hope you all have wrote it down. So the first thing that I'll get down is to the syllabus. So the syllabus of ISI entrance examination. Syllabus. So getting down to the syllabus, let me tell you one very basic thing. There is no specific particular syllabus that you can get on ISI. I again repeat, there is no particular specific syllabus for ISI. Students appearing for ISI, the professors who take the ISI exam, the student the, or the conducting body of ISI exam expects every appearing students with thorough mathematical skills from class 6 to class 12. Yes, you have heard it right from class 6 to class 12. You even need the mensuration problems and the geometry problems from class 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and even the calculus portion, the trigonometry portion that you have learned up to class 12. So ISI is a very broadened exam which includes general question to test your mathematical aptitude and mathematical ability. So a person with a mathematical aptitude and mathematical ability can only get into the ISI exam and the exam question paper is very suitable for that purpose. So the question paper is itself very good to recognize the aptitude of a student. So let me start. So they're saying that the general syllabus. So just talking about the paper pattern that we have observed. So the syllabus of ISI includes you can even get a copy of the syllabus at the book. So this is the book I am showing. Test of Mathematics at 10 plus 2 level published by Indian Statistical Institute. Every aspirant of Indian Statistical Institute, this book is a must. You might not get in the pink cover as is shown. You might get in some other covers because the edition has changed. They're, year wise they update this, this book. So this book is very important. What I can show is Indian Statistical Institute that is written. This book is published from directly from the Indian Statistical Institute. What you get here is a bunch of questions that you have to practice thoroughly and you have to be familiar with them. Now the syllabus of Indian Statistical Institute are given in the back page. You can see this in the back page. So again, I am just writing it down. The syllabus includes arithmetic. Yes, and the syllabus includes arithmetic. Starting from 6 to 12, the arithmetic you have started from starting from 6 to 12. Set theory. So I recommend you to learn set theory from a very good book and get clear concepts. This is because what the set theory you have learned is not at all sufficient up to class 6 and 12 for the ISI. So you need some extra knowledge on set theory. You can get it on a book on theory of set by Conrad Kopp. Nope, I will be telling it, discussing it in the book section. So set theory is there. Logical reasoning. A very important part of ISI exam. Even 
I must say that this is a very mark scoring part of ISI exam. So the ISI people want to test your logical ability of how you have the power to reason logically. So logical reasoning question comes in form of puzzles, which I'll discuss in the books per section later on. Logical reasoning algebra is a very vast topic. topic. What are the things required for algebra? Number theory. Combinatorics. I hope you can see it clearly. Combinatorics. Including binomial, multinomial, etc. Binomial, multinomial and permutation combinations you can understand by the name binomial multinomial logarithms system of linear equation inequalities solutions of equations also known as theory of equations series so this is one part of the syllabus that is to be covered in the isi exam so i'll discuss the other part in by rubbing the board so I want you to pay a thorough attention. So the syllabus includes arithmetic, the arithmetic from class 6 to 12, the basic arithmetic, even problems from unitary methods have come in ISI exam and the question papers and the tomato book. So this book, as I was showing, is a very big example of this. There are unitary method questions, there are time questions, there are ratio proportion questions. So all of these comes from the arithmetic. Set theory. As I have told, the set theory, what you require is the basic set theory. Not the set theory concept that you have, not the abstract concept that I am telling you. Please do get a very clear cut concept of set theory. Third is logical reasoning. You will get riddles and puzzles which are very interesting to solve. So I recommend you that these logical reasoning questions are usually not that hard in the MCQ part. So I recommend you to score a full mark in logical reasoning. Next comes algebra. In algebra, what you have? Number theory. So number theory, you need the basic number theory, divisibility, modulo, congruences that you have to all have to learn. So you have to learn about the certain properties of numbers, the divisibility tests that you get. So you have to be thorough with number theory to get into ISI. Combinatorics. Combinatorics, as the name suggests, it is dealing with permutation combinations, the counting problems that you're dealing with. In fact, the combinatorix includes the binomial theorems and the multinomial theorem. Those you must have to be thorough with. This is because algebra, I must say, is a favorite hot topic in the ISI exam. Coming to the next part, logarithm. So you need to be very much aware with the graph of log. You need to very much be aware with the properties of log and practice problems on logarithms. Next is system of linear equations. You have it in class from class 7 to 11 and 12. So the basic knowledge is very required for system of linear equations. Inequalities. A greater than equals to be the basic inequalities you know to need to know such that the cauchy schwarz inequality, the arithmetic mean geometric mean of the power mean inequalities, those are required to know. When I will discuss the books, I will get you to the books so that you can learn these inequalities and be familiar with them. Theory of equations or solutions of equations, you need to know how to solve a basic quadratic equation or a basic cubic equation, how to determine the location of the roots, where the roots are located using many methods. So you all need to learn it. So the series portion that I am telling that the series includes progression, AP, GP, HP, sum of progressions, including arithmetic, geome arithmetical geometric progressions, geometric arithmetic progressions, all are included in the ISI syllabus. Complex numbers, so complex numbers you need to learn from complex number geometry, the complex number representation in Cartesian coordinate system, even the basic algebra of complex numbers. 
So this is the first part of the syllabus. So I'll now get down into the second part of the syllabus that is geometry. Six to twelve classes, trigonometry, calculus. I want to express this topic in a little bit. The subparts of calculus include sequences, functions. limit continuity So this is the second part of the syllabus which includes geometry. So geometry you need to be familiar from class 6 to 12. You need to know the basic Euclidean geometry that includes the set of axioms from Euclid that includes congruency, side angle side, angle side angle. You need to get your very concepts very clear cut from class 6 to class 12. This is the general geometry syllabus of ISI. So you need to be aware with the Cartesian geometry system also including lines, equations of polar equations, equations of hyperbola, parabola, conex, sphere, you need to be familiar. Trigonometry, so the trigonometry is a very vast topic, it includes, it is one of the most hot topics that is given in ISI exam. You can say that geometry now has come to an extinct because geometry is now no more very much given in the ISI exam. You, previously it was used to appear, but you cannot predict. This time it might give, so ISI question papers are one of the most unpredictable things in the universe, you can say. Jokingly, I must say this. So, geometry might appear. So, you might take it loosely, but don't. You might not take it hardly, but that doesn't mean you don't take geometry loosely. Geometry might come. The next part of this is trigonometry. Trigonometry is a very important thing. You must know the basic sine cost relations, the equations, solutions of trigonometric equations, general solutions, particular solutions, both. Trigonometry graphs are the most important for solving trigonometry problems. And then comes calculus. Calculus is again another hot topic. Sequences. You need to know what sequences are. I'll tell you about certain books which you can refer for these. Functions you need to know. What are limits you need to know. The limit definitions. The continuity definitions. Derivative including maxima and minima. Integrals. You need to know definite integration. You need to know indefinite integration. Primitives. Primitives generally refer to the indefinite integration. So you need to be familiar with that. Areas and volumes and areas and volumes using integration is very important for this. So I request you to have a look and copy down these.